So we have successfully created our build pipeline. Uh, the build pipeline successfully uh, deploys, uh, so builds our zip files, which we're going to deploy to the certain resource. And for our purpose, we're just going to right now connect to the portal of Azure, and we're going to set up service connection in order to ensure that a connection between Azure uh, DevOps and the Azure subscription works just fine. So how do we create this? We can go to quickly here to project settings and we can search for service connections under the pipeline. So if we click service connections, uh, this beautiful image here is going to ask us to create a new, uh, the first service connection. We do this by obviously clicking the button and we have a number of opportunities to create a certain uh, connection. So how do we create a connection? Uh, we will just use the, in our case, Azure, I believe, resource manager. And then uh, I will choose a service principle, a manual one. So I don't want to go with the automatic because automatic is going to connect directly to the, uh, to the uh, Azure itself. So, and he will, it will create the app registration automatically using the credentials that I'm using right now. So service principle, manual one, clicking a next, and here it is, a lot of fields that we need to fill in, but it is not as, as terrible as it looks at the beginning. So uh, let me just go ahead and start with it. So log in to Portal Azure Com. Hopefully you have already the account there. If not, you can create a trial account, which I'm actually using right now to show all this. So if I just click on the Azure subscription, it might show a upgrade button here. This means that I'm actually on the trial. How do we fill in all those fields? So first thing we are being asked uh, for the subscription ID and subscription name. So our name is actually uh, Azure subscription one, quite simple. Um, ID is this. I was always wondering why is, does it ask subscription ID and the subscription name? It's, it was always a bit weird for me, but yeah, it is what it is. And now the next step would be the authentication. So the authentication is using service principal ID and service principal key. Essentially, um, it will use the app ID and app secret in order to connect successfully to the Azure subscription. So how do we create this? So app registration is being created in the Azure Active Directory, which I have already searched before. But if you haven't, uh, you can just write AD. Well, maybe maybe not Azure Active Directory. We click here and then again, we have numerous of options. Uh, please be aware that you can ignore all those GUIs because the subscription is going to be dead anyways when you when you go and, and watch, this, uh, watch this video. So I'm going to go here and click on app registrations and I will have the option to do a new registration. Now I'm going to put a name here and say DevOps Connect, something like this. Um, maybe I should just write it carefully. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use it in this organizational uh, directory only, and I'm going to click a register button. So just give it a second and the app registration has successfully been uh, created. Now, next step would be uh, to, uh, think about the API permissions. I think they're, they're quite okay. And uh, certify, uh, cer uh, certificates and secrets. So this is where we generate our secret. So uh, when we click here on the new client secret and we say build server, or actually, sorry, DevOps, and let's expire in six months, that's fine. It will create a new secret. So we can just copy this to the clipboard and paste it to the service principal key. Now, service principal ID is actually the GUID of the application itself. So I'm just going to copy paste this right here. And we would need to have one more thing, which is a tenant ID. And we can get it just by, I believe, tenant properties. And we have the tenant ID. I'm just going to copy it, paste it here. And now I will, I will put uh, sure uh, demo 
and I'm just going to press the verify button and I get the me as an error message that I'm forbidden to use this uh, data because um, to use this this uh, application ID because I cannot actually read over a subscription. Okay, let's try to fix this. So let's go to subscription then quickly. And we have only one subscription. And what I want to do is I want to go to navigate to access control. And I want to add role assignment. And I would like to, you know, let me just go to, to owner you know, heavy guns. And I'm just going to search for the application that we have successfully created. So what is this going to do? It will create a role itself for, uh, it will add the, the application registration that we have successfully created as an owner of this subscription. So essentially anyone who has this information can do whatever he wants or whatever she wants in the subscription itself. So it's again, it's not quite wise to give the owner a role to anyone. But just for the sake of a demo, I'm going to choose this and I'm going to click save. Let's give it a second. Okay, completed. Let's go back to our service connection. Let's try to verify it again. Oops. Um, hopefully I don't have to do this all over again. And I think I will have to, unfortunately. Uh, please, please. Ah, okay. It, it refreshes now, so it's successful. Great. This makes me really happy because I really didn't want to do all those things again. So the last thing you can do is click verify and save, and you will have your first service connection uh, configured in the, in the DevOps. So one thing that I would like to emphasize here is you, you see how the, the connection between those different components are working. So you have a connection between your machine, your build server and the DevOps, and then you have a connection from the DevOps to the Azure. And even the account, which is the administrator on the Azure, doesn't uh, need to even exist in the DevOps. So it can be completely separate um, subscriptions, completely separate environments, and it will just work fine. Be aware that deployments of the uh, resources to the Azure are going to be done uh, by, um, by the, the build machine itself, because the build machine itself is going to use those service connection to essentially connect to the Azure and to deploy the resources there. That's it. Next thing would be to essentially create the, the app service, the free tier of app service in the Azure and to create release pipeline to deploy the application there. So thanks.